Hey folks, Dr. Maggio here. I want to go over with you how you can use your essential element cream on patients who have carpal tunnel syndrome. Obviously, you're going to go through all your protocols that you normally do that great, get great phenomenal results with your patients, but you can also incorporate encompass the essential element cream as well. Take a little bit, and you're going to put it, if they have true carpal tunnel syndrome, obviously right on the wrist, I like to do on the front and on the back, and rub it in nice and good. But another area that you can do is in the forearm muscles that tend to get very tender when they have their carpal tunnel. Right through here, all these nasty trigger points. Rub some in just like that. When you get that cream in on both sides, if you're a user of the pulse straw instrument, you can use this nice flexible tip that we have. We're going to put it in myofascial mode. Ten pounds of pressure is enough. And what you're going to do is just rest the person's forearm right on you, and you can use this to come back and forth over those sensitive trigger points and allow it to glide, and as you're gliding, that will help drive it into the muscles. As far as through here, after you put the gel on, you can switch into point mode. Five or ten pounds of pressure, stimulate the bones right of the wrist, and you got to be real careful with that because if they're real sensitive, that can give them quite a bit of discomfort going into their fingers and into their hands, so you may have to adjust it down to the five pounds of pressure setting. Also, at home, you want your patients to use the essential elements cream, have them rub it on both the front and back of the wrist, and also right here on your forearm muscles. Allow that to get driven in three to five times a day that will help assist them get a better result. Thanks folks and have a great day.